Hey, this is Rick, the sea otter, and welcome to the Spit Take Podcast. And I am here with Adam. Hello. And Steph. I'm back. Sweet. Okay, so first of all, now, before we were talking, I wanted to berate Steph about this crazy <laughs> porn show that uh, she made me watch because there's narcissists in it. Uh, it's literally just Skinamax, you know? Uh, they're, like, there's S. Um and uh, it's literally say, just people having yeah. There's asses in it, uh, and there's just in there. there's tits in it too. Actually, I was going to uh, say you're missing out. on Yeah, that. there is tits in it. Uh, hey, you haven't lost me yet. <laughs> but well, it's just the thing that like okay, uh, I I wasn't watching it for porn, you know, and so it's just that they're having sex every five minutes, and that there's no plot. Uh, I mean, there is. I, and I've only well, watched the first five episodes. Um, oh, it gets so much better. You got to finish it. But it's just so annoying. Yeah, Peggy yeah. Bundy is definitely a narcissist. Um, uh-huh. Now, the thing is, he's a narcissist. But what they got wrong is, if he's such a narcissist, he wouldn't see the narcissism in her. Because narcissists generally, uh, when they see other people that act like them, they tend to not see it. Well, I don't uh, know if he experience. actually saw it. He never claims that he saw it in there. Also, do you want to maybe? Oh, we he completely talk- hates her. Well, okay. I mean, she sucks. He sees her narcissism. No, but you have to keep watching because you'll understand that. Like it just—it's a continuous cycle, and. But I well, I think Lucy's more than was that her name, Lucy. I yeah, think yeah. she's the more the narcissist. Oh yeah, it gets even crazier. She's she's very narcissistic and unempathetic. It's yeah. like she's kind of a bitch. And her mom really uh so your mom you could tell her mom was very immature because her mom put her mental health on her. Uh especially with what happened with her father. Yeah, I mean I don't know how much of the story you got into, but there's so much more behind it and it just continues to grow and grow and grow. Um for anybody who doesn't know what we're talking about, um, we are talking about tell me lies. And it is not a porn. It's it's a porn. It's not. It's like, you know, when 70s actually had good production porn back in the Ron Jeremy old days, where, like, yeah. they actually had a story, and it was like a big production movie, and then they yeah. just bang. It's not today where you just turn it on, they're in the middle of a blowjob or something like that. And, it's, you know, it's and then you have to fast well. forward to the girl on top. I, everybody does that, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um you have, to, no. you have to fast forward to the anal, but uh, <laughs> I don't think that was in this one. <laughs> but uh, but it's like a it's like a seventies big production. It's the Skinamax because that's what Skinamax is. It's like there's a story, kind of a story involved, but then the next thing you know, they're in a hot tub for twenty minutes. Skinamax had some good ones. Yeah, that's not what this is. There is a really good storyline behind it. At the end of season two, there's also a huge twist that I think everybody would appreciate. It's a high production porn okay. on Hulu. It's... Well, it's renewed <laughs> for the third season, so. Rick, you remember that movie Orgasmo with uh, Trey oh, Parker? Oh, yeah. God. Hey, Chopper Boy. <laughs> now you're a man. A man, 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 man. Now you're a man. <laughs> Man, 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 you're a man. Adam, you I think that was that. Like, I think that was one of the first <laughs> like, Trey Parker movies. It's so funny. Like, see, they're like singing exactly what's happening. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> that whole the whole movie was just insane. It's about a, it's, so it's about a more it's about a Mormon, Mormon who goes and does porn. <laughs> this porn like, it's so funny. <laughs> I haven't he seen that movie. He actually gets like a a, a machine. A mechanism that makes people have orgasms. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then his sidekick has a big floppy dildo on his head. <laughs> oh my god! He's, he's got the machine that gives people orgasms, and he gives the one guy so many his dick explodes. <laughs> that was Matt Stone, right? Or was that Trey no? Parker? Matt Stone was, Trey was like Parker? a bit part in that. Yeah, it was Trey Parker. He was the was main uh, main star. Yeah. God, that was I miss when movie. they did movies. They haven't done a movie in a while, and they do no. the, the best movies every time. Like Basketball, uh, yeah. Team America. Like, yeah. their movies are funny. 
They are. They're really good. Um, I, I love the stuff that they do. And the South Park movie was one of the funniest movies I've ever South seen. South Park movie, yeah. And I was maybe like 12 or 13 when I saw that movie because my dad was a big South Park fan. And he let me watch it. And it's that movie's so messed up but so funny. They were going to do another uh, South Park movie, which was Imagination Land, but they ended up just making it a three-part um, episode in I think season like ten or eleven somewhere in there, and that was a really good uh, that was a really good um, ongoing story. That was a good one. How but, many seasons have there been? Oh, twenty six. A lot. I think, no? Yeah, mm. not as many as Simpsons, but no, they're up yeah. there. They're up there, but they only do ten episodes a season too. Mm. But yeah, that yeah, I missed yeah. the because they like they literally write the episode and do it that week. Yeah, they that's don't, a lot. Because they want to be up to date what's going on in the news and everything. So yeah. they just get together and write it on the fly. And, like, it's always good, though. <laughs> and, and nobody's safe in that show. Nobody. <laughs> no. They've targeted everybody. And uh, I, I was reading something about, um, w- this was Team America. This is one of, like, the, the greatest things I ever read. Was that they asked Trey Parker and Matt Stone why they made uh, Matt Damon look like he was like mentally challenged <laughs> and they were like they were like we weren't going to originally but then the puppet just came out and looked like it <laughs> they're like so we did it <laughs> see, during the whole movie he's like matt damon <laughs> and they yeah, asked no. matt damon they asked matt damon about it they're like how do you feel about australia he's like i don't know i'm just i'm just very confused about it <laughs> he's like i'm an academy award winner <laughs> like <laughs> no, it's and so he's funny. really intelligent too. Yeah. He is. Um no, and uh Baldwin um wanted to uh voice his own character, but they wouldn't let him cuz they wanted to make fun of him. They didn't think it would be yeah. as funny if they if uh he was making fun of himself. And I guess it's one of South Park is one of George Clooney's uh favorite shows and he voiced the doctor in the movie, but then they also had him he voiced uh Stan's gay dog in season, I think it was season one, season one or season two, in the beginning it says, and uh, I think Sparky I think was its name, it's like a Sparky voiced by special guest star George Clooney and the dog doesn't even talk, it just barks. <laughs> it's really like the biggest fuck you to everybody but in like the the best way I can't think of the word that I'm looking for. Um, they, they present a very intelligent um, view on everything. But they don't like, and it's not preachy because they don't. Yeah, they don't take political sides. It's like no. everybody gets made fun of, you know. Yeah. Right. Um, and uh, but then like people get outraged, but nothing's going to come of it because South yeah. Park's uncancelable. It's like you look stupid if you get outraged by South Park. Yeah. Like they're just <laughs> going to come after you even harder. Yeah. The. One of the ones that they did was the uh, the Scientology one, which was the big, uh, oh, yeah. it, which was a really good one. And they put uh, in the end credits, they just put uh, like by anonymous. I can't remember exactly what they put, but they like all the credits didn't say anybody's name so that Scientologists couldn't sue them because they were like, they can't prove that any of us were involved in the show. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole reason they did it, is they're like, they have to prove that any of us. We're in it, and they can't do it if we're not in the credits. So, oh, that's really smart. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was pretty funny. Like those those two are just you know so intelligent, so such geniuses. Steph, you just went and saw the uh, that musical that they made, the Book of Mormon. Yeah, yeah, we just went to see Book of Mormon like uh, a couple of months ago. It was my second time seeing it, but it still was just as funny the second time around. Probably more so because I knew what to expect and what was coming. Um, we were actually talking about going there in Milwaukee in, I think, February, maybe. Oh, really? Yeah. And then Steve and I were watching that Casa Bonita documentary. Have you guys seen oh, that one? I haven't seen it yet. That's on my watch list. I want to see it because Trey Parker and Matt Stone bought Casa Bonita. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just crazy. It's like supposed to be like a $3 million project and ends up being like 20 million or something crazy like that. I, I don't know the exact numbers, but like. We watched the whole thing and I was, it, it is interesting what they did, but it's like yeah. more and more things just keep happening. It's like, they're like, oh, this is like a death trap. And they just start laughing. They're like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I think they said something like it'll take 20 years for them to turn a profit on it. No, like, I think they're already, they're booked out. Are they? 
Yeah, and, it's crazy, like, to get reservations and stuff. I, th I think they're having a lot of re uh, reservations, but I think that the amount of money that they spent into, like, rebuilding the franchise, they said will take a long time. But they're just really big fans of Casa Bonita. Right, right. I mean, it was it was a fascinating documentary, so yeah. I would suggest if you're South Park fans. Yeah, the Casa Bonita episode was pretty funny, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think they Carmen locks butters in the uh, in the fridge. He like locks them in there. He's like, "Oh, this is the only place you'll stay safe from the zombies," because <laughs> he wants to go. Oh, Carmen's oh. such an asshole. But um, but anyways, um, uh, tell me lies. I got welcome a, back. I got a, I got a, uh, I, I guess I got to keep watching. Uh, I just haven't had time and uh, running a running a business and then doing trainings and stuff like that. So I have to get back on it. Uh, I have been off this show for three weeks due to traveling and Halloween and everything else. You should have had that finished. That was your I homework. watched like five episodes really fast and then I see like it's it's I just can't like I don't like watching. OK, this is what we were getting at before the show. I don't like watching s people dry humping. Like, and that's what, mo that's like 90% of the show is people are just dry humping. That does nothing for me. Like, I don't get sex scenes. I don't understand it. I don't know why, like, you need to have this long, drawn out sex scene. Unless they're making fun of it, like in uh, It's Always Sunny with Danny DeVito. Or, uh, you know, or, uh, uh, or Team America. Team America. Uh, yeah. The funniest so, scene ever to Grease yeah. movies. <laughs> see, that, that was so funny because cool. they were doing did all these decisions. Did you see the extended cut? That yeah. sex scene is like five minutes longer. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, like, I don't like, what does this have to do with the rest of the movie? No. Like, this is like not plot. This is just two people dry humping. What? Like, let's, like, there's literally, like, okay, let's get the set together and everything so they can, like, dry hump. Like, that's what they're, like, oh, the, the writers just put in, and then they have sex. And that's what, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. Yeah. Well, it's, like, the, um, the luring. Like, you're, like, he's luring these women into doing what he wants and using them as, like, using sex as, like, a way to, in, like, entrap them almost. And then, like, not control, but kind of control them. But it's like, they don't know what sex is. It's just so weird the way it all ends up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Okay. They yeah. act like we just had the greatest aerobic sex of all time. Because they're always, like, out of breath and everything afterwards. And, you know, it's like, you know. We might have. We don't I just know. roll over and snore. So... <laughs> In fairness, in fairness, I get winded getting up from the couch to grab a snack. So <laughs> it's like, you know, I don't need to see your your fake sex face, your well, fake O okay, face. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> Maybe later I'll be showing me. her my O face. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I'm talking about. I used to have that as my ringtone and it went off in the middle of English class at EIU. <laughs> And I picked it up and just let it go. Oh, my God. Well, if you continue to watch, you'll see um, Lucifer makes an appearance. He's a big part of season two. Like the well, Lucifer? that makes sense, because that's 90% of Lucifer. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, it's, it's not. I just start watching Lucifer again. I yeah, started I, over. I uh, started... Or I restarted it. I think I'm on season three or four, maybe. Um, it's one though that you can like leave for a little bit and come back, and you're like, all right, yeah, I can pick it up. I never finished it. Oh, it was yeah. good. It had a very good ending. Yeah. Don't tell me because I haven't seen it. Oh, oh well, I just finished uh, watching season one again. Sometimes so I just want show. you to get to the point. That's why I like these. Uh, uh, shows that are like you know eight ten episodes because like okay yeah. we get to the point real quick. I right. uh, I you know that's the thing about like supernatural and all these you know these TV shows and everything. It's like they're twenty three twenty four episodes. Like oh my god, and there's so much filler in it. You know, I agree. I I'm really down with the ten episode seasons now. I wish they would come out every year. 
because we're getting more like yeah. two years in between seasons now, which is tough. But I do like the eight to ten episode because yeah, I feel like they're taking more time to put the story in. And but like right. it's all about the story. Like there's no filler episodes. Although Supernatural, obviously, when they did filler episodes, they were usually pretty amusing, and it was just kind of like we're doing this. For well, the fun. filler episodes are what made Supernatural. So they are. I but, mean, that's that's a different story, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, the world's going to end. You want to get yeah. to that? <laughs> <You know? laughs> Let's I mean, get to this spot. If they could have just deleted the entire Leviathan season, I think that was just filler because they were like, we don't know what else to do. And I'm going to always bring that up whenever we talk about Supernatural because you know how much I hate that season. Yeah, it was not a not a great season. It was one of the weaker seasons they had. Yeah, we still have to do our Supernatural like this, that's going to be like a four parter, I feel like, but uh, I mean, you know, 15 seasons, but yeah, the, uh, no, waiting at like three. So arcane, um, which is, uh, a show based on the game league of legends, which I've never played. Uh, but I watched the show on Netflix. It was the three year between the first and second season. Jeez. Uh, so I act, so it's actually kind of smart because I ha- I watched the first season again, but the first season was so good, mm-hmm. um, and that's it's probably one of the best video game kind of series, you know, movie series of all time, because uh, it's very interesting. I don't think they expected it to be a hit, and so it's based on I guess two characters from League of Legend. Their name is V and Jinx, and they're sisters. So it's really about. It's like the underworld and then the top city. And there's basically going to be a war between them. And the biggest interesting part is the the sisters V and Jinx, which are the you know, which are the main characters. I don't know if anybody else is in League of Legends, because there's a couple other main characters. Uh, mm-hmm. I haven't really looked that much into it. But the interesting stories between V and Jinx. Because uh, she, V, so Jinx is a kid, so it starts like seven years earlier, and they're kind of like this, well, actually starts even earlier than that when they were a kid, but then it fast forwards some years, then it fast forwards seven years. But basically, uh, they, uh, they're they like robbing and doing all this stuff, kind of ter- they're kind of terrorists and stuff like that, and then... Uh, Jinx is supposed to stay behind because she's a younger girl, but she's very inventive. And she completely goes out and screws everything up. And then uh, her sister V, which is the older sister, completely tears her down. And then V turns into a bad guy. So V is kind of a Harley Quinn-esque character. And that's like the appeal to her. But she's still like 15, 16 years old. But she's a real badass, though. Um, but it's really interesting because basically everything is science and magic is outlawed because of how dangerous it can be. And uh, so they want, they're, so they're using magic to combine with science to create these science like. Um, Sci- these uh these weapons and stuff like that and uh so basically it's centered around how they create these weapons and then the war between the lower and upper city and the lower city kind of being the slums kind of being like nobody cares about them uh kind of having an uprising against the the upper city but it's i don't want to spoil too much but i suggest watching it don't worry i stopped listening that that was that was one of the better explanations you've ever done. Thank you. It was very coherent. Thank you. I, I got painted a very good picture of what's going on there. Mm-hmm. It was long and drawn out, but <laughs> it was good. It was good. I liked it. Because now I know yeah. what's going on in that show. Long and yeah. drawn out. I mean, it's not not like his sex scenes, but... No. Uh, well, there is lesbian... But there's not like, well, there is some sex, but it's not like the drawn out sex scene. So uh, I don't know if you wanted to hear that, but. uh, 
I don't you look like you want to say something. But like, they, yeah, yeah. they let out the first three episodes, then they're letting out the next three episodes tomorrow, and then the next three episodes a week after. And the first three episodes really carry on from the first season, where it's just a fantastic show. Yeah. And um, it's like the first season's only eight episodes, so it's a real quick watch. It's not bad. What is that on? It's on Netflix. Oh. Adam, I need to steal your Netflix well, again. The, 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 they don't let me anymore. But the really good part about it is the animation is really good. That's like oh. almost like what's the what is the best part of it is the animation's really appealing. And it's really cool how they do it. I'm not into the animation thing. But it, it it's uh you know, a lot of people say that, but then they miss out on a lot of really good uh, stuff. Nope. Yeah. Um, they really do. People miss out on a lot of epic stories because they don't like animation. Yeah. I mean, maybe one day if I'm bored and I can get on Adam's Netflix, I'll try it. Um, like, watch watch the first, like, three or four episodes, and that'll tell you if you're going to like it or not. That's a I lot say watch of... the first four episodes. <laughs> There's just one part. <laughs> so maybe like three episodes. So it's like you're watching. It's like, it's okay. But then something happens in like the third or fourth episodes and your jaw just drops and then you're in it. So it takes like the, the first two episodes aren't bad. It's mm -hmm. just that when this thing happens, then it gets, then it's like, oh shit. It's on now. Sure. Okay. All right. Um, speaking of the lesbian thing, um, I know we talked about Agatha all along. Adam, I know you have not seen it. Rick, nope. have you watched it? Yeah, for the most part. Okay, I like I I understood where you were coming from, Adam, when you were like, "Oh yeah, they touch on the fact like there was like the lesbian relationship." That's why I made that face. Nobody can see yeah. the face that I made, but I was like, "Oh yeah," because I got to remember to bring this up and talk about it. I finished it. Um, and I know nothing really about any of those Marvel movies. And I was really intrigued by the whole story. Yeah. I want to watch it. I will watch it at some point. I, I'm very curious because I really liked WandaVision. I liked the character of Agatha. I want to see the show. I'm not, I haven't been a huge fan of a lot of the Marvel properties that have been coming out lately. I, here this one was actually pretty decent though and it's got aubrey plaza who i love and Catherine yeah. hun who i love and i'm like how can you really go wrong as someone who is not into all of that universe and knows the backstory um i was intrigued by it and i really enjoyed it because it like i don't know it was just centered on something else to me sure so, people just hate it because there's gay people in it and that's why people are hating it Really? Um, yeah. You think so? So Wiccan's, well, Wiccan's in it. I don't know if he was gay in the comics. And they're mm -hmm. actually... So he's uh, oh. Wanda's son. Uh, so... Spoiler alert. He's gonna be... Well, they've already announced, if you haven't... If you don't watch Marvel News, if you if you watch News... If you're listening to this, I'm assuming you listen to Marvel News. Uh, you Time know what out. I mean? There's something called Marvel News. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You go on YouTube and they'll like people talk about whether the movie's coming up, what are the shows coming up, reviews oh and all that God. stuff. Oh. Um, yeah. So Billy Maximoff, which is Wiccan, like if you had, okay. So, anyways, they're actually talking about giving him his own show. Um, okay. Now, did I really like his character? No, and it's not because he's not gay or not because he's gay, but because his character wasn't that great. Yeah. No, I think he did a good job with it. I mean, he wasn't a central part, which wasn't to be expected until the end. And then, like, I think that's when, like, he blossomed out of there. And that's that was the whole point, though, right? I just didn't care for the character. Like, it's nothing against him. It's nothing against the actor or anything. It's just the character that they created for that didn't seem like, oh, man, we need to make a show about him. You know? Sure. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I don't know if I'd watch an entire show with him, but I do like him pairing up with Agatha. I thought that was cute. Yeah. And I like we talked about before, I like Catherine Hahn. Um yeah. I, I love her and everything she does, especially uh Step Brothers. Yeah. 
Step Brothers and the Goods. Uh, she was like one of the best parts of the Goods. Wow. <laughs> he makes the sale. I'm going to eat my own pussy. <laughs> <laughs> She is, and she was really good She's in this so one, too. Just, like, yeah. it's that same kind, like, that very dry, like, humor. Just being like, well, fuck it, this is what it is. Yeah. She's she's really good at uh, how she delivers things. She's really funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, Adam, once you watch it, you're going to get a song stuck in your head for the rest of your life. Cool. Oh, Just the uh, road. Down, down, yep. I'm not going to sing it because I'm not going to turn away. I'm still it. recovering from... Uh, uh, the Witcher song. Oh, I know. oh yeah! Toss, toss a coin toss to the a Witcher. Coin to the Witcher. To the Witcher. Oh, Valley of Plenty. I had that playing on Spotify for a long time. It that was, was good. A good one. Ah, I love that show. I didn't see season three. I'll admit it. I didn't see season three, but seasons one and two were solid. Um, um go ahead, Rick. No, so, there's so go ahead. <laughs> I just don't like dead air. Somebody go. I know. Christmas. Cool. I'll talk about Christmas. I uh, So I've watched the Santa Claus about 10 or 12 times in the past week because we introduced my daughter to it. And now she's stuck on it. And I have to say that it does not get old, no matter how many times you watch it. I love Tim Allen. Tim Allen is the only person who could have played that part as well as he did. You're a bigot. Yeah, whatever. I don't know your shit. But I love Tim Allen in general. And he's like the only person that they ever, that Disney ever broke their no con policy for. Because mm -hmm. they refused to hire felons for anything. But they came out and said, you know what? We'll hire Tim Allen this one time for this show or for this movie. And they made two sequels and a TV show. That's insane. Like, but can you envision anybody else as Santa Claus? In yeah, that I'm universe? Oh, in that no. universe? No. Like, if they had chosen anybody else, Kumar. I don't think the movie would have been that Kumar big. Kumar was Santa Claus. They, they, he failed miserably. <laughs> he did. He was terrible. He, tr he tried to use drones and make Christmas every day. You can't do that. Yeah. You can't do that, Kumar. Didn't work out. Didn't work out. Yeah. It took the magic out of things. The show's actually been pretty good. I I, well, I, I really like the show. Um, and I thought it was fun for them to kind of go back and give more explanation of the backstory on it. But... Again, I'm really, really, I just want to talk about Tim Allen because his, he's like a comedic genius. Like, for some reason, his timing's so good. The things he does, a lot of it's improv. Like, he's just so funny. And I've been watching uh, Last Man Standing recently as, like, kind of my nighttime show. I watch, like, three or four episodes. And that's a really good show. Have you seen that one? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's been a long time. It's been some years. But it, like, got canceled and revived. It they got get canceled. revived by Fox. Yeah, it got canceled at ABC. They say the reason was because that ABC didn't like having a uh, a likable conservative on on a show. Well, now ABC is trying to get a uh, conservative on the View, but because there because nobody wants to watch it anymore. Yeah, um, because Whoopi Goldberg doesn't want to have sex with anybody now. Uh, <laughs> See how I just slid that in? Um, <laughs> she, joined, she, uh, she, won't know. <laughs> she joined the B4 movement. If you don't know what that is, is look that? up the B4 movement. That's where, uh, because Trump won and uh, people don't care about women's bodies, uh, women are refusing to have sex and shaving their head. What? Oh, That's yeah. Well, whatever. the thing I've ever heard. <laughs> it's pretty stupid. This it's like, that moment. solves the abortion thing, huh? Yeah. That's, <laughs> like, yeah. You know, like, Refusal so. to have sex is one thing. Shaving your head, that's not going to stop anybody. But it's all unattractive women. Like, I haven't seen a track. I've looked at some of these. It's like, it hasn't been one attractive woman doing it. <laughs> oh, my God. I saw something on Instagram the other day. Somebody said that they're like, I'm not having sex again. And, like, the comment section was so great because, like, it was, like, a horrible picture. And it looked like the mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. And they're like, only 355 days until Halloween now. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Oh, man. Ouch. <laughs> I don't know. It's, yeah, I, I don't know. The view has is, is been interesting. It's it's interesting. I catch clips once in a while of people coming on the show just because I'm interested sometimes in the person they have coming on. And it's just, it's not a very enjoyable show. And it, everybody is one-sided, and that's all they're looking at. And nobody. Really oh, just, it's just, uh, what's her name, Joe Barr and Whoopi yeah. Goldberg. 
Uh, but was entertaining when Tulsi Gabbard was on there because she's like, "You called me a Russian bot." Like she tore it, tore into him. It was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I love Tulsi Gabbard. She's gonna be well, president one day. Yeah. Well, I'm, I was watching some. Vi- I was watching a video about uh, about Tim Allen earlier, and when he was on the View talking about woke culture and everything, and you know he's been one of the most anti woke people in Hollywood, and to the point where he's like, "Cancel me. Wolf? I don't. I don't care." Yeah. What, what? is that? Woke. Woke. Oh, woke. I heard woke. I heard woke. Too. Woke. I was like, woke. Like, <laughs> fuck those woke. You know that? Uh, the stop me. <laughs> He's on there like, woke. What's, what's with you guys and wolves, anyways? I know. Yeah, I heard, fucking wolves. I heard. And Tim Allen's too. over there saying, <laughs> Fuck these wolves. It's like, Fuck these wolves. And they're trying to cancel him because they're like, You know what? We like to eat rabbits and that's just what we do. Anyways. I was like, yeah, what no. in The furry nation is going on here. No. no t- uh, him and uh, there, I, I read something where him and Roseanne, Roseanne were going to uh, make a show or a movie or something like that, which would be epic because Roseanne. I would watch that. Roseanne reminds me of my grandma, by the way, now. Like, yeah, she looks like my grandma now. I love her, but she's hilarious. She was on Kill Tony. If you haven't watched Kill Tony, it's fantastic. Tony Hinchcliffe, he's the one that uh, they all bullied because he said Puerto Rico. Co, uh, they, he made fun of their garbage dump on, in, uh, <laughs> on at a Trump rally. Um, he's a comedian. Yeah. Uh, so uh, she was she was he had her on Kill Tony and they tear people up. So if you haven't seen Kill Tony, it's like anybody can get pulled from this hat. You just sign up and you get one minute to do comedy and then they judge you afterwards. And some of these people, they really tear up. And uh, Roseanne's like really nice. <laughs> they're yeah. like, well, they're like really saying this the most racist stuff. It's yeah. Terrible. Oh my god! But well, if you haven't watched Kill Tony, I'm telling you, give yeah. it a listen. It's hilarious. Watch. Actually, I'll show you the one because it had uh, what's his name. He was doing a Trump impression, and then the other dude was doing a Biden impression, and they did it mm-hmm. the whole episode like they're Trump dressed as Trump and Biden, and mm-hmm. it was like the funniest episode. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, I like Roseanne. I like, uh, Tim Allen. Um, and again, Tim Allen has been fighting against like the woke movements for a while, woke movements for a while. And, uh, but like, and he gets the woke movement. (laughs) He got accused of being, um, he got accused, he gets accused of being very conservative, but in reality, he's, he's very much a big libertarian. Rick just looked up wolf movement. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's got some. He Tell us what it is, movement. Rick. Uh, you know, uh, distinct ways of moving. The single tracking where wolves swing their hind legs. The he's like, what are they doing? As their front legs, he's like, fuck wolves and their movements. Oh my God. They oh, they do the overstep walk. <laughs> Where their hind foot tracks are past their front foot tracks. It's like, that's just too confusing. <laughs> and then not to mention their speed. <laughs> what the fuck are we even talking about? Wolf movements, damn it. We're honoring Tim <laughs> Allen. Against, against it. <laughs> well, they travel 30 miles a day. I mean, fuck them. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't even I don't even I don't even see my wife half the time, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I never leave the house. I don't I don't even and know where this trying, is going. They're walking 30 miles a day. Fuck them. <laughs> okay, are we done now? No. Are we done with the wolf movement? <laughs> so, let me show you. I don't. I don't see the way wolves move. Hold on a second. What? I don't. I don't care. He's going to screen share because he found out he can do this recently. Hold on. Look at these motherfuckers! Look at these motherfuckers! <laughs> For those of you at home listening right now, we're we're looking at a diagram of wolves and how they move. <laughs> This is the dumbest conversation I've been a part of all week. And Rick is dying. Oh my god. He's having oh too much god. fun. It's, how oh. high are you right now? Oh, I'm sober. Hmm. I don't you, drink. Well, I don't smoke weed. 
Well, I'm right. proud of you. Yeah. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm Good high on you. life. And you're enjoying that wolf movement as much as you are. <laughs> That's the best part. Like, so yeah. cute. Well, fair enough. Are we are we done with the wolf movement now? Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Okay. He's very upset. Driving results I, to the men at Best Buy. The wolf movement. That's what this article says. You know what's funny is uh, so we we introduced one of my coworkers. She's she's a little bit older. We introduced her to Urban Dictionary the other day because she had never heard of it, and uh, she was going to put uh, a turkey in our lobby and call it Fluffer Nutter, and we made. Her <laughs> we and we're, she was like, it's this, it's like the sandwich, and we were like, have you looked it up on Urban Dictionary yet? <laughs> She's like, what's that? And we told her about it. So she looks up, she looks up Fluffer Nut or Urban Dictionary. It is not a sandwich. <laughs> Peanut butter and marshmallow <laughs> fluff on white bread. Uh huh. Yeah. Are you on Urban Dictionary? Look at the second one. Hold on. Okay, yeah, you got to find it. A ham it. job it, where peanut butter is used as lubricant. <laughs> oh, is that for dogs or wolves? <laughs> it's just part of the wolf movement thing. <laughs> where you put peanut butter on your balls. <laughs> Come here, wolf. That seems oh, dangerous. No. How did <laughs> you can see here? how they move over to my nuts. <laughs> I think I have to enunciate better. <laughs> When I talk when about the male the ejaculates the movement. semen is then mixed with the peanut butter, reminiscent of a fluffer nut sandwich. Uh, <laughs> <there's> <laughs> Let's use that in a sentence. I didn't know that she had in mind when or I didn't know what she had in mind when she brought the peanut butter, but then she showed me the fluffer nut. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's you know, enough internet for you today, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> There is no uh, fluffer nutters in uh, Tommy Lies, by the way. Also, the act of farting and the air escape, escaping air fluffs up your nuts. I was playing Xbox and then I pulled a fluffer nut. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay. Is, yeah, what is going on? What is more? I, I'm teaching them way too much. There's okay, lot, we're, we're done like with a lot more definitions on here. Oh, we're done with horrible. we're done with Urban Dictionary. Let's get back to pop culture here. Okay, you don't want to hear about the intestinal gas. No, no, no. <laughs> they have to get technical. I had to they think use person it. A and person B in this one, just so you don't get anybody mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to edit so much of this. Oh, we're not gonna edit any of this. This is all staying in. Okay. God, I'm sorry. People for are just going to be. All five people are just going to be. Yeah. It's mostly me, you, and Rick. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, can you see who listens? No, I can't see who listens, but I know that like <laughs> there, there's like three people watching. <laughs> <laughs> we do have like, occasionally a couple of people watch us live, which is fun. But, um, anyways, Tim Allen. <laughs> <laughs> great so, Santa Claus 3. The great and Santa. Santa Claus 3 is the worst of all of them. That's the best one. And which is a shame because it's got Martin Short in it. That's why it's the best. He is so good in that. He's good in everything, but like the movie itself doesn't work real well. Right, but like he makes the movie and you have Anne Margaret. So. Anne Margaret's great, but. And like. What about Arthur? Oh, Arthur, yeah. Arthur's. Where he's a little there. kid. I don't know why. People said that was terrible, and I've watched it like a hundred times when I was. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but Santa Claus 3, Eric, our brother, and me, that's like our thing. We have a thing from there. Amigos. <laughs> that was a classic one. Yeah. So what were you saying about Eric? I was just Sorry. saying Eric and I, I don't know, one day we were just watching it, and there was like one one little part where Martin Short turns to Anne Margaret and just goes, do you want to be my elf? And she goes, what? And he goes, you heard me. And Eric and I, I think, rewatched that little scene like probably 20 times just rewinding and just crying like like rick with the wolves yeah that's martin short is so funny and he's got a great delivery i yeah. just finished watching um the new season of only murders in the building and he's one of the and i mean just the three of them are so good selena gomez you know steve martin and uh martin short they're just so amazing together and like they play these characters so well and 
I if you have you watched that show? No. I have oh not. my god! Oh, watch it. It's really good. It's really good. You guys are telling me to watch way too much right now. There's just it's gonna get all. Oh, Clifford. Busy. I'm not watching Clifford. But what, what about <laughs> Clifford? Are we just saying things? Short now? movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> where he's a kid. It's very creepy. Snorkel. <laughs> Fluffer nutter. <laughs> I mean, listen, Martin Short's great and everything he's in. The Three Amigos is one of my all-time favorite movies. Because mm-hmm. you had Chevy Chase, Steve Martin, Martin Short playing like basically three idiot actors who go and save a town from an evil Mexican yeah, warlord. Yeah, but they came up with a really great plan. They did. Shows you planning is ninety percent of the battle. Something we should probably start those, doing before these shows. Those Mexicans need needed that. the white man to show them how to <laughs> so fight off the Mexican mafia. So, fun fact I learned just recently: the main character, uh, the main female character in Three Amigos, Carmen, she was the um, receptionist in Beetlejuice. When right. they go to when the first time they go to the neither world, she's the oh. uh, she's the lady with the slit wrist. Same person, same actress. Oh, okay. The little accident. Yeah, the, yeah, that's how I had my little accident. Yeah, she was. Uh, that was Carmen from Three Amigos, and I did not know that until like maybe a month ago. Blew my mind. Mm. But Three Amigos was always a fun one. I haven't watched that in a while. But I love their. I love the scene with uh, where they're doing the little song and dance in the bar. It is my her. little buttercup. You can tell her with her eyes. <laughs> yeah. After they said it, and I watched Beetlejuice, I was like, "Yep." I was like, "I see it now. Can't unsee it." But. Yeah. <sighs> um, I'm trying to think. There was something I feel like I just watched with Martin Short in it, and now I can't remember what it was but i agree i think that like going back to tim allen him and tim allen and steve martin are all like really great with their deliveries and just like actual actually really funny they're yeah they're legendary actors um i was thinking for some reason i got on this tangent earlier today and i was think i was going through different tim allen movies in my head but galaxy quest was one of my favorite movies that he did um it was dwight Schrute was in it yeah he was they were kind of parodying Star Trek, but at the same time paying a lot of respect to it. And it, it is just such a funny movie that played on all the tropes of Star Trek. I hate Star Trek. You would like Galaxy Quest, though. It's fun. It makes fun of the genre. And apparently it's one of Will, Shat- Will Shatner's uh, favorite movies, too. Really? Yeah, he really likes it. And it's funny because the movie is a little bit making fun of him. Because Tim Allen's basically playing the, the Captain Kirk the Captain Kirk character to a degree. And, you know, a lot of the stuff that went behind the scenes with, uh, with Star Trek, they kind of mimicked in the, in the movie. But I always thought that was one of the greatest, uh, the greatest movies that Tim Allen ever did. But you had Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver, who is like the sci-fi queen. Uh, you had Alan Rickman. Really? Um, yeah. Alan Rickman was in that and we, who, and he was awesome. Uh, I'm trying to think who are some of the other big names in there. I do love him. Justin Long was in it. Uh, oh yeah. Gosh, there's a, there was a lot of big names in that movie, and apparently they were going to make a uh, they were going to do a TV show with it too. I think it just fell through, but they were going to do a TV show based on that movie. I think Justin Long is very underappreciated. So I feel like I'm slurring my words, but I'm not like he's very underappreciated in a lot of his roles. Like in it, they're like the little side roles, like. Um, yeah. Zach and Mary make a porno. Yeah. He was the boyfriend. He was so good in that. He's so good. He's in there for like five minutes, but he was so good in it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he's been in a he's been in a lot of horror movies. And I didn't I don't think I realized how many he had done until like really? recently. Uh yeah, he was in Drag Me to Hell, Jeepers Creepers, um Tusk. I never saw Tusk, but I've heard of it. That. Yeah. That was a Kevin Smith movie, I think, and it was like really it was like a really weird horror movie that Kevin Smith did where somebody basically this scientist turns Justin Long into a walrus. Like, what? dude, I, I don't know. It's, it's weird. I, I think that's what this is. 
But anyways, he like sews a bunch of like skin and blubber on him and makes him a walrus to have sex with him. I want to say I don't know. It was weird. So like the human centipede, kind of walrus edition. A little bit. But the guy, Where are the, the scientists. The scientists didn't have... Yeah, Tusk. Read read the synopsis. You got it pulled up. Uh, Let me see here. Let me... Hold on a second. I think it was a Kevin Smith movie. All right. Uh, A U.S. podcaster, Justin Long, ventures into the Canadian wilderness to interview an old man, Michael Parks, who has an extraordinary past, and the American learns the man has a secret involving a walrus. It doesn't That's tell you much. Tell you. Okay. But I don't he know basically, what I read the isn't that basically what he did in uh, Barbarian? Like, I didn't he, like, see Barbarian. Well, he's in that, <laughs> and he's like this douchebag rich guy, and he also owns all these. Uh, you know, Airbnbs and stuff like that, and then Barbarian, the house of the Barbarians at, that's one of his houses, so he goes mm. there and stays. Mm. Well, I like I like Michael Parks. You brought his name up. He's always a great actor. He's so good in so many things. He's in he was in Argo. Um, he was oh, in... Yeah, Kill I watched Bill. that uh, 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 with the Heights. Uh, no, uh, what was that show I talked to you about the other day? Uh, I don't know. Oh, never mind. Which one? Okay. Well, anyways, yeah, Michael, Michael Parks is always great. He was in uh, another Kevin Smith movie. He likes to use him, uh, Red State, which was which was a pretty good movie. It was basically Waco. It was like a version of Waco in some way. Um. Like it's a siege goes on in this like religious at this religious compound and like the ATF and the FBI are like fighting them and stuff. It was a very strange movie, but it gets a little wild. Jalen and Silent Bob are in it. They are. They were the ones to set off the siren. Yeah. Because, so, you know, they connect all his universe. Yeah. Speaking of which, I need to watch Dogma. That is such a good movie, and yeah. apparently the uh, the uh, company that owns it won't let it let it out. So I need to find oh, a really? copy of yeah. it. Yeah, I, that's one I want to watch. I haven't seen it in a very long time. I think they're I, redoing it. Uh, they can't. I don't want to watch. That. I don't want to watch twenty twenty Kevin Smith. Only because of that situation where they're not releasing it. Yeah, we'll make it. But they don't have a uh, what's his name that we just mentioned anymore. He died. Who? Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman died. Oh yeah. And he kind of yeah. made the movie too. He was one of the best parts of the movie. Wait, who? He's the he best part movie? of every movie he's in, really. What? What'd you say? Who was he in that movie? Balthazar. He was the angel. Yeah. Was he? I haven't seen that movie in so. Yeah, he was. So he was the angel that was with them. Damn. Yeah. He's, he was their Castiel. Oh. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, he was good. He was, oh, yeah. he was Castiel before Castiel. Dogma was probably one of the best movies that Kevin Smith made. It's got if not the best. I would say it's the best. I don't think there's a better movie. I really like Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. I thought that, that was would be movie, a close but it's second. Not, it's when not they, as good as Dogma. When they, when, they, when they go beat up all the people that uh, talk <laughs> shit about <them> online. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck is the internet? <laughs> Boom, boom, kitty fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Did I get that a good a... luck blowjob? <laughs> um, I was watching, don't make fun of me for this, but I was watching Degrassi like a month or two ago, and Jane Silent Bob did a little stint on there because they made a movie in Canada. Well, it was supposed to be for the show. It was like Jane Silent Bob go Canadian, A. Eh? And like they were just as funny in that too, but they were obviously playing themselves but like jay was being such a piece of shit like hitting on all the high school girls and i'm like this is i love that they don't ever break character yeah well they they were on that 90s show recently too i saw the the clip that they had in there they crashed a car through uh the foreman's house oh really yeah so that there that was such a classic duo and it was it's hard to beat that 
hard to beat the two of them and that and those characters. They made another Jay and Silent Bob movie that I never saw. Yeah, they they only released it and they did a tour, so yeah. they uh, watched the movie with the people that they toured to mm-hmm. different cities to. Oh, oh did I they? I think it oh. might be on Amazon. <clears throat> and I think they were doing a Clerks three, weren't they? I think so. I think they're doing a Clerks three. Like, see, that's what I'm like. I'm kind of afraid of Kevin Smith now because mm-hmm. he's freaking Looney Bins. So, yeah. yo, he's totally far left. He's not. A, he's not as edgy as he used to be, mm. for sure. Um, since that, since he did that movie for his daughter, he sucked. Which movie? what movie? Uh, Leader Hosen or whatever. Oh, I don't know what that is. Uh, hosers, uh, yoga hosers. What? Yeah, it stars his daughter, uh, Harley. Uh, yeah, and it's terrible. So that was in 2016. So since then, Kevin Smith has been wonky. But 2016's when Trump became president, so that's when everybody went fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, you know, I love a lot of the work that he's done, though. I mean, uh, Zach and Mary make a porno, which we already mentioned this episode. One of my favorites. Great movie. Um, Cop Out, which got panned by critics, but I thought was a really funny movie. I mean, you had Sean William Scott, you had Bruce Willis, you had Tracy Morgan. I just like, yeah, I just like Tracy Morgan. Yeah, it, that was a very, very funny movie that really did not get shit for credit. I don't think I saw that one. It was it was bringing back the buddy cop movies. Yeah, because like it's been a long time since there's been a good buddy cop movie. So they got Tracy Morgan and Will, or uh, uh, what's his name, Bruce, Bruce Willis, Willis. Uh, to do one together, and they uh, were a great pair. Yeah, they were a really good pair, and I think that was before uh, Tracy Morgan's accident. Yeah, Tracy Morgan's so funny. He, he is doesn't. Funny. Even, I don't even think he tells a joke. He just he just has a good approach. He's the delivery, also. Yeah, it's the delivery. Like we're talking about the uh, the Tracy Morgan from. Uh, um, from 30 Rock when he plays uh, Tracy Jordan. I feel like that's not that far off from how he is in real life. My favorite is Brian Fellows, though. Yeah. I'm, I'm Brian, Brian Fellows. Fellows. That's one hairy <laughs> bug. <laughs> that's one funny looking dog. It's a, it's a mini pony. <laughs> oh, my he just God. keeps going, I'm Brian Fellows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brian Fellows. <laughs> that was a great clip. That he's was so great. Good. Oh man, yeah, he's Tracy Morgan is so good. Again, it's just his delivery. However, he does it. He's it's, everything he says is funny. Um. So, anyways, one I thing I was going to tell you guys, but I said I'll save it. So, I want to see Christmas with the Campbells. I guess it came out in twenty twenty two. Vince Vaughn produced it. Uh, Justin Long's in it. Uh. And uh, George Wentz in it, too, uh, like which George is, Wentz. you know, classic. And sure. uh, Yeah. And so, and Brittany Snow, who I absolutely love because she's a screen queen. Um, so, it's it plays like a Hallmark Christmas movie. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, uh, Steph was talking about, you know, Hallmark yeah. rom- rom-coms and stuff. Um, but I think Steph is about ready to pass out. Uh, I'm just booking workouts. I'm listening. <laughs> but uh, so I haven't watched it yet, but I watched the clip and it has the, I guess the two mom and dad and they're drinking tea and the mom's like, drink it. And then he's like, well, I guess I could try some lean. So lean oh, is God, cough yeah. syrup and uh, it's, it's cough syrup with codeine in it. Oh okay. no, there's, that's, there's another term for that had you said had you said that i would have been like i know what that is like not personally yeah i when i was a drug specialist in the prison in the federal prison (laughs) they're like you ever do any lean they'd always say that (laughs) that's where i learned what lean was i never you know apparently it's i'm like dude you people are fucking stupid (laughs) like you're drinking (laughs) cough syrup with codeine in it Uh, like not because you're sick because you want to get high like, how yeah. fucking stupid can you be? It's like, uh, well, I'm not going to say anything else because I am a drug uh, counselor and I do have patients. So if my patients watch this, they're going to be like, he's making fun of me. It's, But it's like, you know, 
Like you're bragging about it. Yeah. Like there's a yeah. difference between doing it and being addicted to it and actually bragging about it. Like right. you sound like a fucking fool to brag about it. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Uh, but there is another term for it, and I can't remember. Uh, what is it? It's like, it's not meth. mean. Oh, what? It's not math. I don't know. I don't Liquid know how you meth? make meth. Liquid meth? <laughs> Liquid. I don't know how you make meth. I don't know. No, Remember well, that whitest kids you know when he yeah. had liquid meth? Yeah. No, it's PCP. Oh, liquid oh, PCP. I didn't even know it comes in liquid oh, form. Oh, okay. It wasn't. It yeah. wasn't. Yeah, that was right. Purple <laughs> drink. You you oh, do that. Maybe, you yeah, do that. Times, yeah. <laughs> That's what they were talking about, too. He's like, yeah. I guess I could do some purple drink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. And then, and then like... Yeah, I guess this is pretty good lean. <laughs> like he's never done it before. I don't think he knows what it is. He's like, it tastes like cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's purple drink. That's what I was thinking of. Um, I was just trying to remember. I was like, I know that there's another term for it. Huh. Now we know. One of the searches is, can lean kill you? Yes, you dumb fuck. It's fucking opiates. Hey, you know. I don't even have to look that, that up. Not everybody knows, man. Not everybody knows that opiates kill you? Well, yeah. find out quick. Pretty, yeah. It's true. Over don't, consumption of anything can kill don't you. Don't do lean, people, by the way. Don't, don't do, do lean. lean. We at That's Spit Take are very against using lean. Yes. Yeah. We fucking hate, fuck lean and fuck, fuck lean. wolves. <laughs> wolf movements. We like wolves, just not their movements. <laughs> Sit there. Don't move. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Walk like a normal dog. Fucking this asshole. is like I don't. I don't even know how that happened. Adam just wasn't enunciating. I guess. I don't I know wasn't. how we got wolf from woke, but I also heard wolf. But you both heard wolf. Yeah. Adam tends to do that, though. Adam tends to say things wrong. I do, but not that (laughs) time. I I actually made, if you look at the spit take uh, TikTok, they actually made a uh, super clips of it. (laughs) Can you send (laughs) this to me? I don't have TikTok. (laughs) I'll see if I can find it. I made a super clips of it. (laughs) I'm saying things wrong. I forgot about that. You guys guys used to bash me a lot about that. Well, it's like I, I, what was it? I did the, when I uh, announced your company or something like that. And I was like, oh yeah. And check out Warriors uh, Respite. And you guys were like, it's, it's respite. That's Don't not worry. The, the attorney that I uh, hired uh, was also kept saying that after I corrected her. <laughs> it's spelled but, like respite. But she's everything I learned lady. in kindergarten tells me it's respite. She was mm-hmm. an old lady. So I didn't want to, she was a very sweet old lady. So I didn't want to like digging too deep on her like you i can just bash yeah. but i didn't yeah, right. bash my lawyer <laughs> i'm so glad that like i'm perfect and you can't bash me for anything no i never bash you for anything <laughs> sure no not at all but well, it's like i have this i there's this older lady at work she's a volunteer and she uh she, every time i see her she calls me andrew and it's been months now and i just don't have the heart to correct her <laughs> yes yesterday i walked into the boardroom and uh and my my supervisor was sitting there, and I passed the volunteer. And she's like, she's like, oh hi, Andrew." And I was like, "Hi, how are you?" And she walks out, and my my supervisor's like, "Did she call you Andrew?" I'm like, "It's been months. I can't correct her." I was like, "She doesn't have much longer on this world. I can't be the person to tell her that." <laughs> so so my daughter, you know, my daughter's name is Lana. First of all, yeah. everybody keeps calling her Lana, and she'll correct them, and they'll keep saying it. And she's like mad, and she's specifically mad that I named her Lana. Because when she's playing Roblox, people were saying her name backwards. (laughs) (laughs) Is that a true story? Yes. They're doing that on Roblox. Because her name was, uh, I forget what her name is. We had to change it. Poor poor anal. (laughs) But... That's I don't good. know why, because I was thinking of A.A. Ron, but then I thought about another Keenan and Peel skit that I seen today, where um, <laughs> they were they were in math. Did you ever see this one? They're in math class, and then he turns over and he goes, "Man, I could really uh, 
uh, get high on some uh, or use some high pot noose. And, uh, <laughs> and then he goes, oh, I can use some high pot noose. And then everybody cracks up. Yeah. And then he's like, true. I said that. <laughs> and so and so they're like, hey, principal, come in here. Tell him what you said. Tell him what you said. He goes, I could really use some high pot noose. And then they all start cracking up again. And the guy goes, oh, I'm the one that made that joke. They're like, shut up. Shut up, stop taking credit. And then Enrique, Enrique Iglesias comes in, uh, yeah. you know, fluffy, and they do it again. He's like, man, you want to go on tour with me? I need an open. <laughs> Gabriel Iglesias. Enrique Gabriel Iglesias, Iglesias is the guy who sings Hero. He sings uh, Upside, can... Inside, Out. No, that's... Can... That's Ricky Martin. That's, yeah. <laughs> No, Damn, I can be your hero, baby. And he oh, you're, th- you're thinking of uh, Puss in Boots. No. No, that's, that's Antonio Banderas. <laughs> I don't know if he's being serious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I'm going to have to try you a map. Oh, Pablo these are... Francisco. <laughs> Remember Pablo Francisco stand I love Pablo Francisco. He's, He's, He's trying, trying to steal my tortillas. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but I want him and his tortillas dead. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, um, and then he's like talking about Keanu Reeves. He goes, "They went too far. They went too far." For all of our listeners, I also have no idea what they're talking about. Those are those are my lines. Those are his lines. <laughs> Pablo Francisco. He's a really funny comedian. Little Tortilla Boy. Watch Pablo Francisco's Little Tortilla Boy. Yeah, he does. He does the. Um, it's like a the, ten minute skit. He does the voice for like previews. And yeah. so he does this preview for Little Tortilla Boy. And he's like, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, get to the chopper. Arnold Schwarzenegger, some more. Get to the chopper again. <laughs> I guess I'll have to watch it. Yeah, Pablo Francisco's really good. He's, he, he's like, the lesbian looking Pablo Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you ever have a Mexican girlfriend? <laughs> she likes, she's always sticking up for him. <laughs> she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Essay, essay. You're gonna write a paper or something? What's going on? <laughs> it's it's just funny. So good. I haven't seen that in such a long time, but I remember all of this. Right? It's my favorite stand-up of all time. Maybe it's been at least so- ten years. Put the link. To it's that been like on our so. Podcast. It came out in like 2022 or 2002, I think. Yeah, and like I was watching it in 2006, and then you know, same. Yeah, that one was he. He's so he was so funny, and like he he does a whole thing about uh, he does a whole thing about like softcore porn that was pretty funny. Yeah, he <laughs> talks <laughs> about because uh, it looks like they're just trying to move furniture. Ugh, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> wow, he looks way different. Yeah. <laughs> Back He's to talking the about uh the stripper comes in as a cop. It's like, is that someone's Ferrari outside? Yeah, that's <laughs> mine. I'm gonna have to arrest you. <laughs> and then he's like, the pizza's here. He goes, Oh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's pulling money out of his ass. <laughs> I'd have to watch that again sometime soon. I wish people could see what I'm seeing from this. I'm just watching you two, like, making just, these hand gestures. Just me. It's just us giggling. If you want to see it, go to our YouTube page. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, Pablo Francisco. I have to watch that again sometime soon. He's so mm-hmm. funny. He was one of those classic comedians that was so good. You went the way of Dane Cook, though. Doesn't really do anything anymore. Yeah. Dane Cook was overrated from the get-go. I liked him. I like Dane Cook. Mm. No, I like... Uh, what's his name now? Um, autistic Matt Reif? comedian. No. no. Yeah. Matt Reif got canceled. Did he? Why did he get canceled? Mm-hmm. Uh, I just learned about this. Um, I forget. But he got canceled recently. Um, oh, because he his he had a girlfriend and she came out and said that he was very abusive and controlling and had like all this proof. And so he got canceled. Yeah. Oh. No. 
Well, that was short lived. Yeah, I mean, I still think he's really funny, but he's yeah. he's not going anywhere. You could you can be funny and be a piece of shit. That's the thing yeah. that can happen. That's like most of Hollywood. Yeah, Louis C.K. was a piece of shit, but he's still pretty funny. I still yeah. listen to stand up. But Dane Cook stole Louis C.K.'s stand up. That's why I don't like Dane Cook. Yeah, what's that comedian's name? Which one? The one he doesn't make eye contact, but he's hilarious. Like, ah, uh, he's just—he's pretty big now. But he, I, like, he just makes a joke a second, uh, and he and he was on uh, Joe Rogan, and Joe Rogan doesn't know how to like make jokes, and so he's sitting there making these jokes, and Joe Rogan's like, "No, nah, I don't think so." <laughs> 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 and he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, oh, what did we... We were watching, I think, Tires, maybe? I think I brought this up before. Um, that comedian who I know, like, a lot of people... It's controversial, but he was really funny. Oh, what was his name? If tires. you guys have... If yeah. you haven't seen that... Oh, Shane Gillis. Do you know him? Oh, no. you have to, Adam. You would love it. It's it's. Yeah, he's going to be an indie soon. I got. I'm going to watch. I'm going to go watch him. He's hilarious. Shane Gillis. He's the one that does the Trump episode. He plays Trump. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and uh, kill Tony. Watch that one where he's Trump. Yeah, yeah he's, he's pretty great. funny. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the clip of Pablo Francisco and Little Tortilla Boy on the Facebook post this week. We have a Facebook. We do. I'm just kidding. I knew that. We have 60 followers. It's Mark Norman. Going along. Look up Mark Norman. Mark Norman. Okay. He's like a joke a second. He's hilarious. But like, it, it, what's funny, he doesn't make any eye contact, but he does like really awesome like face and hand gestures while he's doing it. And it really sells it. Mm. Awesome. I'm looking up. All right. But uh, cool. yeah, Shane Gillis is probably the best right now. Yeah. Like, uh... <laughs> did you watch that show? What show? Tires. No, I was watching something where uh, they're like, he was uh, he was with these girls and he's telling them to get in the comics. And they're like, no, you're going to take me to Epstein's Island. He goes, man, you get to Epstein Island. They're going to uh, reject you, bitches. You're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and they're like, yeah. He's like, who the fuck are these old bitches? Yeah, you have to watch it. It's, it's All right. definitely worth it. Awesome. Is that well, what I it's called? Tires? I've never seen it. I've just seen the clip tires, of it. Yeah. 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 I've seen a couple clips of it. It's hilarious. Awesome. Well, I think uh, we're out of time. So, uh, you guys good? You got anything else? No, I'll be back next week to try to figure out what you guys are talking about, though. Per usual. Sweet. Yeah. And if you want to join the wolf movement, <laughs> uh, go- <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, from all of us here at Spit Take, thank you for listening or watching, however you uh, get your daily Spit Take uh, in. I don't know what yep. I'm trying to say. Yep. Anyways, to the porn. follow to the us. Porn. Yeah, spit spit on it. All right. Follow Let's us on Facebook. Like the sandwich. <laughs> follow us on Facebook. Follow us on YouTube. And uh, we'll see you next time. Enjoy your fluff or nutter. Level up, guys. <laughs>